hi guys welcome back to my channel hanze237 how are you guys doing i know i've been out of the scene for a while but hey your girl is back yes <laughs> so today i am back with a story time video and i am here to tell you guys a story about my pregnancy yes this is a video request from some of my friends that watched my first uh, labor experience video and uh, wanted me to do my um, story time video about my pregnancy plus i am doing this video to dedicate it to my son who just turned two years last week so i'm so excited doing this video and it's very emotional and personal to me first i just want to say this is my experience pregnancy happens to people in different ways to different women you can be a mother of three and you have three different pregnancy experience the way I will share my own story might be different from you who is watching me. It might equally be the same as yours who is experiencing pregnancy at the moment. I want you to be strengthened. Do not be discouraged. Do not feel traumatized that you are the only one going through what you are going through. I understand what you are going through. I know what you are going through. If you are somebody who had a very smooth pregnancy, no issues, your life didn't change for anything except that you had a large tummy, do not laugh or mock at anyone who is going through pains or telling you how she is feeling. As for the husbands and the partners out there, please learn to appreciate your wife and support them because they you are the support system that they need during this period as for those who haven't yet experienced the um, joy of pregnancy or anything about pregnancy do not be frightened by what I'm going to tell you or what people say about pregnancy just be encouraged and motivated and prepare yourself psychologically because most of us we are so um, concerned about having a baby that we fail to prepare ourselves psychologically about the changes that our bodies are going to experience. So having said that, here is my story. Every single day. Come on. <laughs> eh? Yes. Do I say today you know I call axe chop? <laughs> I go see miracle today. Today is time makes pot face. <laughs> see baby last of back. I got pregnant on my birthday, June 30th, 2016. <laughs> yes. I know I got pregnant on my birthday. I don't know why, but I'm so sure that it was on my birthday that I carried it. <laughs> so my first birthday gift was a pregnancy gift from my husband. Yes. So um, immediately after meeting with my husband, two days after my birthday, I was something in me told me I was pregnant. So I did a pregnancy test, but unfortunately it came negative. It came out negative. So I was like, okay, maybe it's not yet time for me to be a mother but after some time i didn't know that usually sometimes it take like two or three weeks so two or three days or even four days for the egg to fertilize so um after some time i became pregnant i didn't know so i was seeing all the changes in me uh, and i thought oh these are signs to tell me that my next period is on the way but they were not signs of my monthly flow they were signs of a baby coming into my life then when the time came for me to have my monthly flow it didn't come i did the second pregnancy test and i was pregnant i told my husband about it he was happy and excited he started saying all sort of things we're going to do this we're going to do that i'm going to be a father oh my god yeah he was so excited and i was happy about it because you know i needed him to be happy that he's becoming a father so men were like oh no 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 but he was happy so that was my joy and then talking about it now, I remember, I remember um, sometime in July 2016, 
my own i was talking with my husband's uncle on the phone and then out of nowhere he just said ha ro how your voice is sound let's say you do belly so i said no uncle i am not pregnant i was so sure at that time because i had done the pregnancy test that turned out negative but i didn't know that uh, eventually i will be pregnant or oh, it's still on the way it's still processing so at the time i was talking with him i was already pregnant <laughs> so my husband and I prepared everything, we planned everything, but we failed to prepare ourselves psychologically for what awaits us ahead. The changes that will happen to my body. How is this pregnancy going to affect our marriage? We didn't even think of the things like morning sickness and all those stuff. How is it going to affect us? But when it started coming, we were overwhelmed by it. It affected us for a while but we adjusted we quick, quickly adjusted and my husband was very supportive after he came to realize that this is what is happening it is real it's not fake it's not going go away just in a week so he became very supportive because my god my own morning sickness sickness ah no 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 it was on another level everything was on me is it vomiting i was the captain of vomiting i will vomit anything that i eat even if i don't eat i'm going to vomit i'll vomit all sorts of colors i almost vomited my intestines is it smell i could not stand smell perfumes body lotion bathing soap none of them my husband could not i could i'm i, I was so okay oh, no with me i just gave up no 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 no. i cannot keep myself applying it on my body and smelling this way the whole day no I could not stand it. My husband had to beg him sometimes to go into the bathroom to apply his lotion or deodorant or body um, perfume before going to work. I could not stand people around me with the smell. I know you live in we live in Dubai. The Arabic smell was just too much for me. And um, is it spitting? Number one, me. Yes. If I want to say anything, I will spit. Ah, I will spit left. I will spit right. I was just spitting all the time, vomiting, could not eat. I lost weight drastically from 62 kgs to 50 kgs. People were asking me, where is it? Tell me, where is, you say you're pregnant, where is it? Why is your tummy so flat for someone who is pregnant? So I was so eager and anxious for my belly to become big for people to really see that, oh, all what I'm going through is due to pregnancy. I was pale in such a way that you could only see my eyes. And my ears and then I had low cut I was like this <laughs> very pale and I had breakage on my face I was looking so it was not my best moment at that point I was not in my best moment shape to, really to be honest that first three months was the worst period of my life at that time I know people will be like no you bet you brought in a bundle of joy oh no you cannot say that no I have to be honest here really i felt so bad at that time and that's because i wasn't prepared nobody prepared me for such things i remember my mom telling me that she had this and that and but you know sometimes they say what your mother experienced you cannot experience so i didn't put that in my mind so my first trimester was horrible i could not eat i could only drink cold water i was always feeling feverish cold all the time they even had to give me two weeks um off from work and my walk, I used to stand for nine hours a day. For a minute to pass was like one hour for me. The washroom became my new house. I was always going there to vomit. To brush my mouth was difficult for me. I had bleeding gums. Um, to bed was a trouble for me. It was really, it was a big deal. I would go into the bathroom, I would look at the water going down. I was like, ah, so this water has to go through my body. But I had to because I was going out. I need to bathe. If I don't bathe, I'm going to smell. So it was hard, but I had to do it. Food, I was not eating. Only God knows how I was living. <laughs> I told God that, please, see me through these three months because I don't know. I pray my foot and feet and the rest of the pregnancy shouldn't be so. So then the second trimester came. Oh, I was so happy because my tummy was showing. The, everybody could tell I was pregnant. I would rub my tummy. I would go into the metro. People would wake up for me to sit. In the bus, people would wake up for me to sit. So I was so happy, excited. started re re receiving the benefits of being pregnant because they respect women here in Dubai. Not to talk of pregnant women. So I was so happy. And then my energy was high. I could eat well. The vomiting had gone. The spitting had gone. The only thing that stayed with me was the smell. The sm 
my first trimester, I, hey, there's something I need to note here. My first trimester, I could not stand my my bedding soap, so I had to request back home that they should send me Cameroonian savon CCC. That they should send me that one. That was what I was using to bathe. <laughs> How can I forget that? Yes. Then I could not stand smell, so sometimes I'll even request my hobby to give me his armpit to smell because, of course, I cannot smell mine. <laughs> Those are some of the nasty things that I did during my pregnancy. Then I'll, okay, my cravings, I'll crave for things that I cannot have. F Cameroonian food that I could not have at the time. Sometimes I'll wake up my husband to go and uh, prepare something for me in the middle of the night with sleep on his eyes. Sometimes I'll push him off the bed that the bed is too small. Our bed was very big bed. I'll push him off that the bed is too small. My second trimester, it was okay. My, I, I even did my, I did my hair, I did braids, I was looking beautiful, the breakage was gone, I was so energetic, but the heat was killing me. I was always feeling hot, always finding myself, the AC was not enough, I would feel numbness on my legs, I would tell my husband to massage me in the middle of the night. Sometimes I would struggle to find a position to sleep, then when I get it, I will have to wake up to go to the bathroom. I had heartburn, but... All in all, my second trimester was far better than my first. Then the third one became even much better. Only that I became tired. As um, my due date drew nearer, I became very tired. My tummy was so big. My baby was big, of course, because I drank a lot of cold water. And they warned me that cold water was not good for me. So pregnant women, don't take cold water. Try to avoid it. Or else you want to give birth to a big baby like mine. They, have, they, they told me to stop. I couldn't. My sister had to take drastic measures, banned everyone from putting water in the fridge. When I got home, I went to Cameroon because I gave birth in Cameroon. Beside my mom, I wanted my mom to take care of me. So when I got home, I told them before getting home, I told, I told my mom and elder sister to prepare me bobolo and a granite paste with porridge cocoa yams. They should bring it at the airport because I would start eating from there. And yes, that's what happened. I started eating from there. I, my appetite was so huge. I remember when my mother-in-law came visiting me. Immediately, I came back from Dubai. She came and she they served her food. She ate and she didn't finish. The way she was eating, I was like, ah, mommy, uh, have you finished it? And she said, yes. I just pulled the plate and put it in front of me. I started eating. She looked at me like, I didn't care. My appetite was so huge. But I was happy. My third trimester was much better. The only thing is I still could not sleep. I would hit my body left, right, center. My mom would say, calm down. In the middle of the night, I would wake up my mom. That mom, I want to eat. She would say, ah, let me give you belly. What did you worry me? But she would say that I should go to the kitchen and get me food. So they made it a habit, habit to always serve me food and put it in my room so that no need to wake up to go to the kitchen. Then for medication, I didn't like taking drugs. But my sister-in-law... She made it a point of duty to make sure that I take all my drugs. My mom was very good with herbs. She gave me the best of herbs. During labor, I didn't feel that much pain and I dilated so well. But unfortunately, my baby was breached just at the last minute. I gave birth after my due date. Just at the last minute, he was breached and my pelvic was small. So they told me that I am sorry. The midwife came to me and said, Rosie, I am sorry you will not be able to give birth naturally because the baby is too big and even if we turn the baby your pelvic is too small so the baby cannot pass so it's only operation c-section i said okay if it's the if it's the will of god for me to give birth through c-section i'm okay my prayer is for me to go in there and come out safely come out safely they didn't even tell my sister-in-law because she was so traumatized when i was going through my level experience they didn't tell her it was just my mom, my sister, and my aunt that were aware. My level, ex my C-section experience is something I need to share with you guys, but I don't want this video to be too long, so I will do it in another video. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching right up to this point. Share this video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. If you haven't watched my level video, go and watch it. Then you watch this one again, and then wait for my C-section video. Bye-bye.